All right, guys, welcome to episode two of the Hardcore Iron Man series, Road to Max Cape. I don't really know what I'm calling the series yet. <laughs> I just woke up a little bit ago, and I decided to do some fishing because I ran out of food. And so we just hit 40 cooking. I got myself some food, also got 42. We got 40 cooking and 42 fishing. <laughs> I am severely hungover from last night. Um, this is day four of the account, and I believe I'm going to go make a little bit of money just because I'm running a little low here. Uh, what I've been doing for money is killing the spiders in the Lumbridge Catacombs. Uh, you unlock that from the Blood Pact quest, and at 24 Crafting you can make these bodies which sell for 600 to the general store, or you can alk them for 900, but I don't have nature runes or the magic level to alk them. I'm sorry, I think they elk for 1,200, and if you low elk them, they elk for 900. Um, but like I said, I still don't have the uh, <laughs> any nats, so yeah. We got some food. Um, going to be going to Tazar, I believe, to get 60 mage. Um, that's what I did on my old Iron Man account. It did take a while, but I did get some nice rewards from it, so that is probably what I'm going to be doing here. Um, and then obviously still working on my mining goals. I can't wait for the mining rework, but for now I can't just wait around to unlock Priftinus. I need to do it now or else I will never unlock Priftinus just waiting around for Jagex to release uh, the mining smithing rework. So I'm going to go make some money and then I'll be back with you guys once we go to uh, Tazar, I suppose. All right, guys, just coming in, finishing up a AFK session here while I was doing uh, some video editing for the last episode. I am currently uh, rendering that, but there we go. We got 45 woodcutting, which unlocks us hollow trees. Um, actually, the reason why I did this, actually, <clears throat> I went from 30 to 45 and collected a bunch of oak logs for construction and whatnot. So uh, almost... 1250 oak logs and now i'm gonna go ahead and make um a split bark wand and orb so i have tier 40 weapons uh, i do need to do priest and peril first but yep i'll be back once um once we get that quest done i suppose yeah i really really want to kill myself i've been looking at the branches of dark mare requirements and i want to kill myself already what the fuck happened to this wall Holy shit! I saw this happen in someone else's video, like, recently. <laughs> Fucking Jagex! Oh my gosh. Alright, there we go, guys. That's the end of Priest and Peril. We now unlock Canifus and can make our uh, split bark stuff, so. Well, very good. I'm going to go do that now. Alright, guys, got my five pieces of bark. That actually took quite a long time, but... Now we can go ahead and make a wand and an orb. Oh wait, what? Oh, I need more coins. Oh, okay, well I'm gonna go get 1k coins really quick and make this orb. Well, oh, that's a fail. Okay, now that I have enough money, I can uh, go ahead and buy that uh, orb now. So there we go. We got uh, tier 40 magic weapons uh, once we actually hit level 40. Um, right now I'm going to be doing my daily challenge, which is, um, don't know, wait, why are you doing this to me? Uh, rune span, I have to siphon earth, water, or mind runes, so I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be back to you guys when we're done with that. Oh, I almost missed that, uh, level up, so, uh, I just hit 35 rune craft in here. I almost hit fire making because I saw a, uh, fire node spawned, um, so I just was AFKing for a bit because, um, well, basically, I've been having some real issues uh, getting the last episode up. So, I tried to, I, for a start, I tried using Windows Movie Maker. And when I tried pulling everything into it, it crashed. So I was like, okay, try something else. So then I was like, okay, well, let's try this... Um, whatever I said it was called in the last episode, and it worked really well for editing. I was really excited for it because it had a lot of, like, features and stuff on it that I could use. Um, it reminded me a lot of Photoshop, but for video, um, and it was free. Um, there were some features, obviously, that cost money to use, but I was like, 
for what I was using, it worked fine, right? So then I was uploading, or not uploading, I was exporting it, and well, <laughs> let's just say it crashed right at the end and it didn't work. So I'm trying something else right now. Uh, hopefully it will work. Um, but I was just, uh, like I said, doing rune crafting and rune span while I was waiting. Um, I think actually um, I'm going to move up to the next floor here now I'm 35, um, but I'm going to stop room crafting for a little bit and come back. Um, I need to get 12.5k points to unlock the um, level 50 staff, uh, so I'm going to do that after I get 50 mage, and then I will use that staff to 60, and then... I guess the next staff will be the Greater Runic Staff, which is level 75, which is going to be horse shit, but you know what? It, it's okay, so I guess I will be back with uh, some levels, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Also, I forgot to mention, I put my pop filter onto my mic, so hopefully the audio quality sounds a little bit better than the last clip. Well, not like the last clip, but the you know, you know what I mean. So hopefully it does sound better. Um, at the very last clip, I'll be talking about it like my very like my outro. Um, I am going to try to put um, I have this like microphone cover on, and hopefully that'll eliminate some of the background noise. Um, I'm just using like a studio microphone right now, and so. Like, obviously, I'm just giving you guys, like, a raw sound. I'm not doing any audio editing or anything like that because, you know, it's a RuneScape video. But <laughs> uh, I think you understand what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and do some combat, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys, just did the combat training academy here, and I'm going to use all of my books on Herblore because Herblore is a bitch to train. <laughs> We just unlocked uh, agility potions, so we can do Taibawani Trio as soon as I get another dwarf we drop. Because I believe the potion needs to be four dose, but I will double check on that. Because I'm not really too sure. Lots and lots and lots of herb gains. I wish they'd just give you like one straight book, but I suppose this is okay. I'm not going to complain about all of this herb XP. Wow, it's going to put us over level 40. That's crazy. From 33. There we go. Almost level 42 herb lore off of that. So we unlocked prayer potions, which is important. Agility potions for that quest. And that's about it, really. Uh, some Damon Hyden potions, so... I am going to train some combat, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I just wanted to update you guys real quick while I was finishing <clears throat> editing and uploading um, the video number one. I don't know what I'm talking this word. Uh, we hit 44 runecraft in here, which unlocks us the natures, shifters, and whatnot. Um, oh, uh, can I go over there? I think I can. Um, but I wanted to update you guys because we got... 500k total XP, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, oh, I should have gotten natures to give this guy. Uh, that's fine. I'll give him chaos runes. So, if you guys are ever at RuneSpan and you want to know, like, the best way to, like, do it, you want to look... Uh, on the wiki, uh, there's, like, a little experience chart that tells you the best um, nodes to use, but even the level 1 node is better experience than, like, the highest level, like... Uh, uh, S Wraith, I think they're called at the higher levels. Um, so you basically want to just uh, try to siphon these, find some islands that have really good ones, like the Chaotic Cloud's really good um, at this level and whatnot. But um, even just siphoning, you know, like the Firestorms is better than using the non node things. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to continue AFKing here while I do other things and. Yeah, I've got quite a ways to go. I am going to have to get 90 here eventually for ports and for the Greater Runic Staff. But for now, I'm just setting a small goal of getting 12.5k points for the level 50 Mage Staff, I suppose. Um, so I guess um, 
And even if I don't use it at level 50, um, it will be a good staff to use because I can charge it with uh, alks, like alk runes, and keep it in my inventory. So I'll be saving an inventory space. And then that way I can just load it out in my preset and I'll like forget <laughs> alks less often, I suppose. Um, so I'm going to uh, continue grinding out uh, runecrafting and I suppose I'll be back once I hit 12.5k points. And I'll let you guys know what level I got to. Um, I was only had about like maybe 5k xp in runecrafting outside of runespan so it'll be pretty accurate i'm going to assume it's roughly around level 70 that's my guess hopefully i don't have to go that far but we'll see i just wanted to quickly mention something because this is going to be the first episode where this happens but i work at a hotel at night um like i work the uh graveyard shift also coming in with 45 runecrafting here um, three days a week, uh, Thursday nights, Friday nights, and Saturday nights. So that's going to overlap a lot of my episodes. And I, my hotel actually has really good internet. My boss just installed fiber internet. Uh, well, like, it's in the process. But anyways, so I'll probably be uploading at work a lot. Um, but also, I will probably be getting lots of AFK gains at work. So just like a little FYI, I will probably be, like not be talking during that but i might record clips like with no audio uh just because obviously i'm at work and i can't really talk and i don't have like my microphone set up or anything like that but i'll be getting afk gains like room crafting and stuff like that so i think that at the end of every shift when i get home and i plug my laptop back in at home and everything into my setup i'm gonna be like give you guys a little recap of what happened um or if i i don't remember if nebulas are better um they are better. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is I will voice over the clips that I am... <laughs> I'll voice over the clips where I am recording at work. And when I get home from work, if I'm not going to voice over them all, I will give you guys a recap and be like, I went from 60 to 70 runecrafting at work today or something like that. So if you guys are ever like, why are you skipping around so much? I suppose that that is the reason because I am going to be getting gains while I'm at work. So, uh, yeah, back to uh, back to the times when I'm going through puberty and cr my voice is cracking all the time. Uh, thank you very much. Um, now back to runecrafting. I will update you guys uh, later. All right, guys, just a quick little update here. So we have about. 95k xp that we've gained in rune span and we're at about 1.4k uh points so also we just hit uh 50 rune crafting which is pretty cool um so if we stick on the path we're doing i would say we're going to end up around level 71 rune crafting uh to be getting enough points for the level 50 staff which is cool um I've been looking at ways to gain, like right now I'm just doing like my best XP methods. Um, well, like sticking within a couple islands, I'm not like hopping, hopping, hopping because that wastes a lot of points, but I could be just trying to figure out what is the best points per hour, if it's nodes or whatever these things are called or whatever. Um, I was looking at like the list of like points and stuff and um, chaos runes are worth 1.1, which I have a lot of just from these chaotic clouds because they spawn very often on this floor and they're good XP. But if I were to just try to get nature, uh, runes from these guys, they're worth 1.5 each. And when I unlock laws at 54, they're 1.7. Uh, so I'm not really sure what we'll be doing. Um, also at 65, I'll unlock deaths, which are 2.5. Uh, but I think I need 66 to get up to the next floor. So at 66, I could get 2.5 per successful siphon, I suppose. But um, we'll have to see. I'll play around with it. I'll do some calculations. But at this point, I think I'm just going to do the best XP because the goal here is really not so much to get the staff, although I am here to get it. Um, it's rather to get the experience for unlocking ports and the better staff at uh, 90 rune crafting. So... I'm going to go ahead and continue AFK in here and update you guys once I hit 60, I suppose. Dude, what the fuck? This is the third motherfucking island I've gone to. And as I go to the island, 
the thing that I went there for disappears. And on that one, there was three chaotic clouds over here. There's a nebula, and there's another nebula, and then chaotic clouds. There's nebula again. I bet by the time I get there, it's going to disappear. Oh, but I'm just going to be ending off uh, this day, uh, the fourth day of this account. Um, I'm going to be going to bed here in a couple minutes just winding down here to go to bed uh we're currently level 52 almost 53 i'm probably going to finish up 53 and then go to bed but um tomorrow i have to get up pretty early that's why i'm hitting the hay so early it's like 2 a.m i usually stay up to like five and playing but but i have to go to the college tomorrow uh meet with my advisor to talk about some things so uh, unfortunately i need to go to bed now so Tomorrow, I'm going to uh, be probably getting 50 magic and also continuing towards the runecrafting requirement. Uh, I've got like 70, 700,000 more runecrafting experience to go, which is fine. Um, but I am also going to be going to work tomorrow, so you probably won't hear a lot of commentary tomorrow. Um, like, there's probably going to be one episode a week where I talk a lot, and one episode a week where I don't talk so much. And I think what I'm going to be doing, rather than doing my, like, three-day episodes, I'm going to be doing uh, my three-day episodes, which are going to be um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays. And then I'm going to be doing four-day episodes, which are going to be Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Um, just because that way... Um, like Sunday morning when I'm coming home from work or like after I come home from work and like it's my time off and I won't have school either I can talk and just you know like end the episode uh kind of thing and there's gonna be less to talk about on um like my Thursday Friday Saturday nights because I'm gonna be at work so I can't like commentate I think so I think that's how we're gonna go so this episode will hopefully be uploaded on the 8th um Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sure things are going to change. But as of right now, I think my schedule is going to be uploading every Wednesday and Sunday with three and four days progress, respectively. So, all right. Um, I'm going to bed. You guys will see some more progress in a second here, I suppose. Well, it's still uh, day four. Um, I'm still up. It's like almost 3 a.m. Um, raids came out on old school, so I've been watching the stream. Uh I just kind of wanted to see them go through it a little bit and see what it was like. Uh, but yeah, we got 55 runecraft in here, unlocking the Wicked Robons, which I will not buy for quite a while because, well, I need the points for other things. We're at 2.4k points. I got 10,000 to go. 20% there. Kill myself, please. Alright guys, it's currently day 5 of the Hardcore Iron Man, and... I did not get a lot done today. I had to go to the college and take care of some stuff and went to a work meeting. Um, so I only played for like about the last hour so far today. It's 8.20 p.m. and I'm actually going to be going to work here in a couple minutes. I'm gonna be getting ready. I work from nine to seven and then I'm going to be going to the gym after work. So um, there's gonna be a skip in a progression. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to be able to get done at work as far as RuneScape progress, but we just hit 58. So um, some days it's really slow at work and some days it's really busy. So we will just have to see how much I get done. Um, and then after I go to the gym, I will record um, basically just talking about <laughs> what exactly I did over the last, uh, you know, 10 hours my shift is basically, uh, and hopefully get some good progress in and whatnot. Um, so I should probably... Uh, and put together like my gym bag and my laptop and everything like that so i am going to go and i will be back with you guys in like well, 10 or 11 hours or so so bye bye stop recording hey what's up guys so today is the beginning of day six and i just wanted i just logged in and i wanted to show you i got to 66 rune crafting at work uh, so that is the end of day five's progress at 500,000 experience which uh <clears throat> basically i got 275k experience at work which is pretty good and i'm at 7.5k points so he's got 5k more points to go um 
But to be honest, I might just keep AFK in runecrafting here. Um, like while I'm at work because it's just really awesome experience. Now I need to find the bone ladder and I'm not really sure where it is. <clears throat> um, it, at 66 you can go there. But I learned something. Um, my boss at work, which I think this is awesome, um, he installed like uh, he paid to get like the line installed to the uh, to the building I um, fiber line so we actually have really fast internet at work so I'm going to be uploading as many of the clips as I can at work from now on so uh, that way that's not a bottleneck at all because the internet around here really sucks like the upload speeds like as a consumer the best upload speed you can get is like a five and like that's if you pay a lot <laughs> so uh yeah uploading stuff around here kind of sucks so definitely that's gonna help a lot so i am going to try to find this ladder and then find a good island with uh, lots of nodes i can use and I'll be back to you guys uh, with some gains, I suppose. Alright guys, just hit 67 runecraft in here. We didn't unlock anything, but at 68... I don't think we lock anything else, actually. I don't really know what I was saying. Um, I think I'm going to get one more level probably before I go to work. I have to leave in roughly about two hours. Um, but I still do need to make dinner and my lunch and pack my bag and everything. So, um... Don't know if I'll get it or not. Um, the next clip you might see all my progress from work. So uh, I'll be back with you guys in a bit uh, with some room crafting games. Oh, also I wanted to mention, so I think what my plan is going to be is once I do hit the staff, um, I will be coming back to RuneSpan and to AFK quite a bit while I'm at work, but I think that I will probably be going for 62 fishing um, first. And then... When I'm not at work, I'm going to be working on 60 magic, and then that way I can do the family crest quest, and then I can cook my lobsters, and then I'll get 62 and 62. Um, also, I do need to get 40 crafting, I believe. I think I forgot to mention that in a different episode, but um, yeah. So I guess uh, once I get my staff, I need to get 40 crafting, 62 fishing, and 60 cooking. Six, no, not 60 cooking, sorry, 60 magic. And then I can do Family Crest and cook my lobsters, and then we can work towards uh, Swan Song, which has got a lot of requirements, which is fine. Um, and then uh, after that, I will come back to AFK and at RuneSpan while I'm at work, um, because I do need to get 90 eventually. But um, most of these are easy, like I'll have crafting done because I'm doing that for the camp family crest. I will have fire making done because that's easy. Smithing, I actually have enough ores already for that. I'm going to be getting both of these and I can get 66 magic very easily. Um, I'm going to start Slayer once I hit 60 uh, magic. So, Alright, I probably will be back with some progress. Hopefully, hopefully I don't die because fuck the snow. I hate driving in the snow. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's the beginning of day seven, and I just wanted to recap day six. Um, but before I did that, <laughs> I wanted to ask you guys. So I'm consistently getting, whenever I log in, no matter whether I have a daily or not, some task pops up here, and it'll usually set a waypoint on my minimap, and it's really annoying, uh, especially when I'm in <clears throat> EOC mode, um, as far as the interfaces. But, like... Because it'll just pop up like right here and it's really annoying. I, I don't know. If anyone knows how to fix that, please let me know. I'm probably going to look myself. But so um, as far as progress goes, what I did yesterday was I runecrafted to 71 runecrafting. And my guesstimate of needing 71 to get 12.5k points is pretty much spot on. I got it maybe 5k XP after. Um, so... I did that, and then I went and did some fishing. Um, I actually got a golden lobster egg, which is pretty cool. Um, also, slowly been working on my strange rocks. It's not really a goal I'm setting out, but um, I'm trying to like sporadically do skills so I can collect them. 
Also, I bought some auras. Um, well, I bought Premier so I could have enough loyalty points to get them. So I got Call of the Sea. I got uh, Greater Brawler, Greater Sharpshooter, and Greater Runic Accuracy. Also, the Vampirism Aura, Flame Proof, Master Jack of Trades Aura, and this. I don't even know what I can do with it, to be completely honest. Like, what Iron Man can do. Um, looks like I can increase my life points, and uh, I can collect more Divine Locations. So that's pretty useless to me, to be honest. Um, until I unlock Priftiness, I suppose. But anyways, um, so as of right now, there is a weekend going on that is this one right here. We are getting double tokens from Dungeoneering, um, which is actually pretty amazing. So I am going to be starting that today. I'm trying to do some at work as well. Um, man, I have to cook 156 cakes? What the fuck? I just realized this task. Holy shit, I'm going to be keeping that and re-rolling it. Um, <clears throat> where was I going with what I was saying? I just read that. Um, okay, okay, so I'm going to be dungeoneering and dungeoneering at work, and if I can't be dungeoneering at work, I'm going to be fishing, um... Maybe. I, I don't know. I'll probably just be Dungeoneering at work. And then I will end the episode uh, tomorrow morning. I will go over this whole week's progress. Um, but as of right now, um, because m my bank's probably not going to change very much, um, I have 1.3k oak logs almost. Uh, some PRS I've been mining just to make some gnats. We've got lobsters that we need to cook up. Uh, we have spider silk and uh, split bark, but also we have the tier 50 staff, and we can get a tier 60 staff for free. Um, we have our auras and just really random junk I've been collecting. Uh, <laughs> it's really, really sporadic around. I just grab stuff if I thought I needed it, and like this is from fungal mages. I thought I would maybe need them. Or I thought I would try them out, I suppose. And yeah, <laughs> it really is just random junk. Like I collected polished buttons when I was trying to get something from the ham warriors or whatever. I can't think of what I was trying to get from them, but I got a lot of buttons from them. And yeah, so I am going to uh, turn in these rocks and then start dungeoneering, I suppose. I will be back with you guys. Um probably won't give you guys an update till tomorrow like i said so uh, i'll see you guys in about 13 hours or so all right hey what's going on guys it is the end of day seven i am really tired <laughs> um i actually just got up um because i totally was too tired after work to uh record so i'm just ending off the episode here with my progress over the last four days so i um I'll just go over the bank really quick. Uh, so I organized it a little bit, like I've thrown everything into tabs, I think how I want to organize it, but I haven't actually organized the tabs yet, if that makes sense. So um, I got my auras here, and um, this is gonna be like my food slash fishing tab. This tab is gonna be for almost all the other skills. Um, this is going to be uh, runes and teleports. Uh, this is gonna be the summoning tab. This is going to be herbs and farming. This is going to be quest slash junk, uh, things that I don't need to go through. Um, this is going to be like my armor and weapons tab. And this is going to be my drops tab. Um, so if we look in this tab, actually, I got a gem bag and a coal bag. I went ahead and bought those. Um, I am going to upgrade the gem bag. And uh, we're going to go over our skills in Dungeoneering here really quickly. So... Here are my stats uh, for the end of this week. Um, 466 total level with 1.6 million experience, which is not too bad. Um, some highlights, I suppose, is 54 Dungeoneering as of right now. Um, I got that bonus experience from a uh, Black Pearl, by the way. Um, 71 Runecrafting, which we have a tier 50 waiting for us as soon as we hit 50 Mage. Uh, I have 47 Mage as of right now. Um, 43 mining, 42 smithing, although I have um, more ores I can use in artisans. 
uh, 51 cooking, 50 cooking, 51 fishing, and 45 wood cutting. So those are kind of like the main things we have got done this last week. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what I'm going to be getting uh, from Dungeoneering. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm really sorry. There's 10 hours left in this weekend. Um, so <laughs> I said, um, again. Uh, so there's 10 hours left in this weekend. I am going to be dungeoneering my life out to be getting, um, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm tired. Be getting as many rewards as possible. Uh, oh my gosh, this recording is probably shit. Okay. So, I'm upgrading my gem bag, and I'm going to be out of tokens. So I'll have an upgraded gem bag, along with my coal bag. So there we go. I need 45 craft to do that. Okay, I will save those tokens for that then. So we're just going to go through these rewards, and I'm going to tell you guys what I am going to be getting. So, I'm going to be getting the Bone Crusher. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the Herbicide. Probably not. I'm going to be getting the Charming Imp, I will be getting the Scroll of Life, I will be getting the Twisted Bird Skull Necklace, uh, I will be getting the Gem Bag Upgrade, let's see, I don't need any of this Gravite, I will be getting the Scroll of Cleansing, I will probably be getting the Amulet of Zealots. I let's see what's this one do. I don't think I'll be getting that. This one is for construction. I will be getting this one for sure. This one is for crafting. I will definitely be getting that one as well. Uh, in the future, I will be getting the Ring of Vigor. I don't need it right now. And. A uh, chaotic staff, which is where is the chaotic staff? Where is the chaotic staff? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I will be getting a chaotic staff as well. Uh, I obviously will not be able to get enough tokens for our, this weekend to be getting all that, but um, I will be able to get a lot of them. So I'm just going to add this all up really quickly, and I'll be back with you guys when I figure out how many tokens I need to get. So it looks like I'll be needing, uh, to get all of the things that I really need, um, it's like 525,000 tokens, um, which is quite a lot, but um, to start off with, I will just be needing um, this like 100 and like 40k-ish to get these three items, and then also this one I will be needing, so that's 160,000, roughly 160,000. And then also I will need to get a Calic Staff. So it's about 360,000 tokens um, is like the main things I'm going for, I suppose. And then all the scrolls are going to be like uh, things that I'm working towards. So we'll see how many tokens I end up with. Uh, you guys will see that in a couple days when I release episode three. So I really hope you guys enjoyed episode two and have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.